Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 20th, 2023. Only five days till Christmas, my goodness. And we had quite a day yesterday with those bulls continuing to stretch to the upside, stretching all of the metrics higher as the diamonds and QQQ actually topped nine straight days to the upside. But what does all that mean for today? Well, let's take a look at what happened overnight. We had a um, little bit of uh, bullishness, not a little bit, we had nice bullishness in um, Asian markets last night that were mostly higher after the Bank of Japan um, um, continued to stay um, dovish on uh, their rates. And that kept everything higher except Shanghai. Shanghai actually uh, dropping 1.3% uh, um, overnight um, as they left their lending rates unchanged. Um, apparently, traders didn't like that so much in Shanghai, but every place else in Asia. Interesting. If we take a look um, in the European markets, we're mostly higher this morning here in European markets, um, but we are mixed. Um, the FTSE yesterday made a three-month high. So uh, kind of keeping that in mind, um, European markets are also very, very stretched to the, to the upside. And then, of course, um, here this morning, U.S. futures are looking, well, maybe just a little bit on the bearish side, um, pulling back just a bit again after... Um, those big runs that we saw yesterday. And then if we take a look at oil prices, oil prices are also moving higher. Situation in the Red Sea seems to be pretty dangerous um, uh, as this Middle Eastern conflict continues to grow. Um, uh, the rebels over there um, said that they are going to defy the U.S. protection of the Red Sea and will continue attacking ships. And after a 1% rise in oil yesterday, we are also moving up again this morning with um, Brent at $80.10 a barrel and natural gas also moving a little higher as this conflict starts to worry and seems to be dragging more and more U.S. Um, military into the region. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at bonds this morning, bonds pulled back just a little bit overnight. The two-year bond is at 4.38. The 10-year is at 3.89. Still have quite an inversion there, but um, we're continuing to see um, a huge um, willingness for folks to, um, to predict that the Fed is going to soon start reversing and cut rates. And we'll see if that's true. I think we're going to need to see some pretty bad data um, in the near future if that's going to be the case to encourage the Fed to act quickly. Um, let's take a look. Uh, well, first off, what does all that mean? Well, how about we um, settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, try to shake off a little bit of bias. Let's see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, um, we certainly have a very, very bullish diamond chart that just keeps running and running and running. One thing, uh, it's a rule that I, I follow, any, any time a stock is up five to seven days in a row, I expect a pullback. Well, now we're well beyond that. We're nine days uh, to the upside, and I'm still expecting a pullback <laughs> to occur. Um, how bad that pullback might be, I, I can't tell you, but I can say to the upside right now, all we have is blue sky above. If um, the bulls find that inspiration, there's every reason to believe we can continue to push higher. There's no resistance levels up there in the diamonds at this point. If we take a look 
um, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, we've got a little price support that we've built right in here. And if the bears were to push back, that would be the first test. See if we can push back into there and then maybe on down into the trend. And you can see this here was the all time high breakout level in the diamonds um, would not be um, an odd uh, circumstance to see us come back and test that. And then, of course, the next level down here, if the bears were really to get going. Now, those would be painful moves. Um, but after such a stretch to the upside, we do have to expect that possibility that a reversal in here could be a little bit painful. When that's going to occur, I can't tell you. But I am expecting that to happen. Let's take a look at our um, SPY, SPY. Also very stretched here to the upside had a big winning day yesterday a little bit of bearishness coming in this morning but if the bulls can find inspiration remember in the spy we have that opportunity here to break to all-time highs in the spy so far haven't been able to get enough energy here in the spy to do that but we'll watch that closely that's where we would look if they can find that inspiration if if the bears find um, inspiration here today and let's see if we can pull back and retest this level right in here test that um, level as support if that tests and holds and turn that green here in the chart so watch carefully we didn't quite hold it here and then we just crossed over so now proof to hold and i'll turn this line green um, if the bears were to push even harder than that push back down maybe a test of this low down here might be the next level and then of course beyond that we're looking at this big candle and the overall trend here in the chart keeping in mind that we don't have to go up or down we can just go sideways so we could continue to go this way um, and kind of slide out all the way into this bigger upside trend on the spy if we take a look at our qqq another nine days straight this right here this blue line is record high and all-time high close yesterday we tweaked through that just a tiny little bit all-time high close was 408.71 um, um excuse, yeah 408.71 and um we actually put in a high of 409.28 so um a record close here um on um qqq so again another nine day stretch to the upside um, and now we're seeing maybe just a little bit of pullback this morning if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here then remember we've got blue sky above we're going to look up here for those next areas of resistance in the chart so watch carefully for that and if the bears were to find inspiration maybe a pullback to test this um, record close breakout a um, little bit of price support right in there on those candles and if that were to fail i'm going to suggest maybe coming on down in here to chest taste test the trend and maybe the underneath side of that little support area of those uh, candles so watch carefully there IWM continued to extend yesterday, pushing up into this resistance. Um, we did have a bullish hold of this support right here, uh, that trend break. Bullish hold of that, continuing to stretch to the upside. Came close to this next resistance level in the chart. This morning seeing just a, a wee bit of bearishness here, uh, pulling back um, in that chart. So if the bulls were to be inspired, uh, push on through. That's what we need to see. Push on through that level here, and we'll see if we can um, break that out here um, overall. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, maybe a pushback. See that little support area right there? Maybe a pushback into there first, and if that does not hold, then we would look for a pushback into this area of support. Now, breaking down through there, it could get a little bit painful as we start to fill some gaps. So watch carefully if that were to begin to occur. Let's take a look at our VIX. 
one of the things that's been interesting as we have been melting higher and the reason i'm saying melting higher let me go back and show you that just here really quickly we've been moving um to the upside here on lowering volume volume has been quite weak if you noticed yesterday we popped up and moved up in the morning and i think it was mostly um corporate buybacks um that moved the market yesterday as they're trying to get everything in as they all of these companies are starting to move into their corporate buybacks they're trying to get them all in um before um they're in their blackout period and we're rallying in um low volume so as you can see we have this situation where we have this divergence in price and volume going on just keep in mind again um, we should expect a pullback to occur at any time again our vix something that's been interesting in our vix is that we haven't been seeing even as we um, seem to be incredibly confident to move to the upside and continue to stretch up melt to the upside we're not seeing the vix falling now we're not seeing the vix doing much of anything here but it is interesting to note that the vix is has been um, off of its lows showing maybe just a little concern and acknowledgement that we probably have gotten a little carried away here on this move to the upside there's that downtrend in here we haven't broke that yet and it really won't matter if we do it unless we hold above that area for a higher low so if we push up here and then pull back and hold a higher low that's where we begin that possible uptrend and where the bears might become a, a bit more active so watch that closely remember when we pop or break a trend like this to the upside there can be that substantial move in reaction because you've got that situation where everybody that's going to be long is long and um when it starts to roll over or show a little bit of concern then you have a lot of folks running to take profits and close out positions and protect themselves and it can tend to move pretty quickly um, on that reversal so just just be prepared for that possibility to occur i don't know if it's today i don't know when it's going to be but just be watching for that. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, we ended up finishing the day all the way back up here in that nosebleed area, 96.25. At one point of the day, we were 98 in here. Very, very extended in this um, as we continue to linger and stretch and suck as much money into the market as we can. Watch that carefully. If we do find bullish inspiration here, there's just really not much space up here for us to move in our t2122 if the bears are inspired just note that we have a pretty substantial downside opportunity if they engage and we start seeing some of that profit taking coming in so watch carefully for that possibility to occur at any time um, let's take a look. remember t2122 doesn't tell us when it's going to happen it just tells us that we have uh, to be watching for those pressure points and that possibility of that pullback if we take a look at our t2108 now t2108 the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average continued to extend yesterday as we stretched on higher and you'll notice right in here we're stretching up into this very, very lofty area here in T2108. It's rare that we get up in here and we can sustain that move to the upside. So you want to keep an eye on that. We are in that very rarefied air here. We're showing confidence um, um, in here uh, as strong as the peak in 2022 uh, market. So be kind of careful here uh, tremendous confidence here and and yet the fed is not lowering rates <laughs> we're just assuming they're going to lower rates so kind of keep an eye on this remember if we do pull back in here we've got lots of support levels so i don't think it's a reason for panic but it is definitely a reason to be watching carefully for that possibility of pullback and protecting your capital one of the things that this would suggest to me is be careful chasing in long try to protect yourself try to 
protect yourself from that fear of missing out and chasing into that last little bit. It's the last ones in the door that get the biggest um, whipping when the market pulls back. If we take a look at T2107, T2107 is also extending up here yesterday as we continue to push in here, pushing into these upper areas of T2107. So keeping in mind, we still have a little bit more space in here in T2107 to the upside. Um, we don't get really, really frothy until we're up there around 65% in this index but or in this metric. But watch that carefully. We are very extended. There's no evidence of bears yet. But when they do come in, as you can see from these tops up here, when they do come in, they usually come in pretty fast. So watch carefully for that possibility to occur at any time. And then our T2101, the good news here for the bulls is as we continue to stretch, and even, it's kind of odd, even on such a low volume day, we saw the breadth continuing to expand. Now this is one of those hints that I think the majority of the work was done institutionally by corporate buybacks and, and institutions stretching that breadth. To do, to have breadth show that much strength and have volume so low would be suggesting it it's coming from that corporate area of the market where they're uh, buying up their own stock and pushing the markets higher. So watch that carefully. Remember, as we push up into this range, we look for that pullback to potentially occur here and a little bit of that energy to come out of the bullish energy to come out of the market. If we um, take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Well, we've got um, several things that we're going to want to be paying attention to on our economic calendar, and I got to find it. Here we are, our economic calendar for today. We're going to um, have kind of a busy day here this morning with mortgage applications coming in. We've got the current account numbers. Consumer confidence will be coming out. Uh, consensus is expecting confidence numbers to increase ever so slightly. Ever so slightly, so watch that. I don't know. We'll, we'll want to be careful with this one. Um, we also saw a story yesterday that 65% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That doesn't bode well, um, you know, in a situation to show our confidence uh, from the consumers really coming up, but perhaps it will. And then existing home sales, they're actually showing existing home sales as a lower number. Like I suggested yesterday, this was a lower number. Um, it suggested it was going to pull back um, seems to be and, and we just blew this out with a really hot number this showing um, a weak number here today as well we could um, easily see that be beat and and maybe that's that um, little uh, help to boost the market here today and keep us buying so watch carefully here and then we've got the petroleum status which of course will be pretty important today for us to be paying attention to just simply with the red sea situation if we continue to see a build in supplies and there is news um, um, about that um, where china is they are way behind on fuel sales because of demand um, issues. Consumers slowing down. Those demand issues are big. And um, if we continue to see a build in supplies that our consumer here is um, also pulling back, then um, that's going to be really important today, how that number comes out. And then, when, of course, with the conflict um, there in the Red Sea, also adding pressures uh, to that price. So could be interesting to see how that plays out for oil today. Then we've got for a, a month and a 20 year bond auction. This will be interesting to be watching here today, that 20 year bond auction. So um, how about our earnings calendar? What do we got going on on earnings? Well, we do have a few notables here today to be paying attention to. Uh, first off, let's take a look at um, BlackBerry. BlackBerry has been moving in this upside trend, trying to hammer here this morning in the pre-market um, to see if it can move on higher, um, testing some of these big resistance areas of the chart. GIS, we've got General Mills 
uh, moving to the upside. Old defensive center sector company um, getting a little bit of a boost here this morning after its earnings report. Keep an eye on GIS. TTC will be reporting today. Um, nice bullish pattern here yesterday after breaking through resistance and a huge, huge um, gap above that could be filled. Watch that one closely as we approach earnings today. Um, MLKN will be reporting. Been in a beautiful upside trend, finding a little bit of price support in here. Um, this will make that decision today on that earnings report. Will we continue this trend or will we slip lower? And then, of course, a WGO. WGO also racing to the upside here, um, racing to some resistance levels here in the chart. So watch that earnings report today. Now, if you were paying attention last night, FedEx, FedEx um, had a pretty rough um, rough move yesterday and they're already buying it up in the pre-market even though FedEx has guided lower um, because of lack of demand. Now one of the things we are a shopping nation we're a, cons um, a consumer that buys 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 and now most of those products get delivered by um, uh, by FedEx UPS and FedEx is suggesting that there is a pretty substantial decline. So um, watch that carefully. But one of the things that's been happening here recently is um, as soon as a stock gets sold off, it immediately gets bought back right back up. We've seen that in several cases here just this week. So um, watch that carefully here today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful do me that quick favor and just click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment even at emoji counts. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you yesterday to all the comments um, on the video. I do truly appreciate it. Um, please feel free to share these videos out on your social media feed. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And um, I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. Remember, when we're so extended, we should be looking for a pullback. And what I'm going to be talking about here is mostly long stocks because there really isn't anything out there setting up great short positions at the morning, at this at the moment. There are a couple. Take a look at like PLTR. PLTR is a possible short here um, that I've uh, identified. Keep an eye on PLTR. If the market does pull back, this could have some negative impacts here. And then, of course, we have seen some pretty um, uh, a lot of weakness in some of these drug maker stocks but these two are um, showing some bullishness here right now so taking a look at like j and j j and j holding this nice little trend obviously we've got fairly significant resistance above but holding in this bullish pattern bullish candle yesterday watch this if that can push on through up here and break that resistance we might see some of these drug makers come back around if you take a look at merck merck was also making that attempt here um, i'm going to move this line up here and you can see we broke through that resistance we're kind of resting back here holding up in this area so look for that next opportunity for merck to move on higher bmy BMY also trying to come up out of this bottom. Now BMY has got a lot of work to do still just simply because this long-term downtrend we're, we're a long ways from breaking that but there is that possibility they we could pop through this resistance in here pop through and hold and then still show that upside opportunity um, at least up into that downtrend so watch some of those drug makers out here trying to come back around just a little bit take a look at medtronic medtronic i placed an alert on it yesterday um, this is one company that benefits dramatically from ai but they have lagged way behind on that AI curve. So watch that carefully. We broke through a little resistance here. We've been moving in this upside trend. I would look for that next opportunity in here for that to break through and possibly stretch on higher. 
if we take a look at International Paper. Now, International Paper is one of those old, very boring companies, a good dividend paying company. But if you look across here, breaking that downtrend here in the chart, elevating through some resistance here, and now holding up here in support. Now, I can't say this is going, this trend is going to be sustained. It's pretty steep, but let's watch for that next opportunity, even if it happens to be out here watch for that next opportunity on international paper and to be honest um, i set this alert all the way up here because i'm looking at this for a potential longer term hold maybe just a rally in here longer term to come up here just midway um, recovering you know that reversion to the mean um, situation here so watching international paper for a potential longer term position um, um, let's take a look at um, some other areas of the market uh, Mickey D's Mickey D's is still holding in there nicely uh, keep an eye on that hold back pretty strong but bouncing right back up on that bullishness here in the market just moving up in a real beautiful pattern so watch that carefully there's every reason to believe we could continue to extend it up and maybe test these highs up here for that possible breakout to all-time highs in Mickey D's. Uh, good one to keep an eye on. I still think Coke. Coke has struggled a lot in here. Um, broke out, started pushing higher, whipsawed back down. Now we're back up here holding on to this support area in the chart. Look for that next opportunity if the bulls step in here for that to push on higher here in Coke. Worth keeping an eye on. Um, as you guys know, I've talked a lot about these uranium plays. CCJ was moving up yesterday and then just got hit hard. So maybe it's time. These are going to pull back, take a little break um, at the moment. Keep an eye on that. If you look at a stock like URA, well, URA moved down and we're getting this big funky candle here this morning with a pop and drop in the pre-market. So there may be something going on on that um, uranium front. Watch that carefully. If you're holding those trades, make sure you've raised your stop losses and you're uh, protecting yourself in that move. How about um, a little bit of uh, the gambling uh, area of the market? Las Vegas uh, Sands moving on up, finding some support in here pushing on higher this was an alert that i had in the chart some time ago and then it just never played out it broke down so no harm to me um, if i'm not in the trade it doesn't doesn't worry me um, and what i'm going to do now is not anticipate an entry here either i'm going to require lvs to hold this higher low up here show me that it maybe hold in here or even break higher and then hold and then i'll wait for that next entry into the trade on las vegas sands and you can see that in um, several of these um, gambling um, uh, venues out here uh, czr uh, breaking through holding a higher low in here uh, breaking through that resistance looking good Wind Casinos has not participated in that at all. Just it's trying to move up, but still trying to fight this major downtrend here. We're breaking through. Now hold a higher low, then I'll have an interest in it. But you could look at uh, Penn National. Penn National has been holding up pressing against this resistance trying to break through so watch that carefully if that were to pop through that area of the chart so there's a few things for you to consider today um, remember to keep a close eye on uh, bonds we're continuing to see uh, bonds stretching and stretching and stretching i do expect TLT to pull back here at any time, but as those bond yields continue to fall, bonds continue to move higher. So watch that carefully. Um, that could continue to happen as long as we can keep thinking that the Fed is going to immediately cut, immediately cut, immediately cut, and that's driving those bond yields higher. So watch those closely. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for um, being a part of my morning. I truly appreciate it and I'm very humbled by it. Thank you very much. And I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Just keeping in mind to let you know there will be no video on Friday. Monday or next Tuesday, um, taking a little bit of time off with the family. So um, keep that one in mind. Y'all take care. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Wish you all the very, very best.